In this video, I will show you how to do seemingly unrelated regressions, or SUR in SAS. Before you watch it, please make sure you've watched my other two videos on SUR and SUR example. I have opened up here my SAS program that you can download from my website as well as the data set and I have already executed the program and these are the results that we see. I'm going to go ahead and open up the data so we can take a look at it and for these kinds of models we have data for high school scores and for dependent variables we will use their math score and their reading score and as independent variables we would have female program science and social science score. So the first thing that we can do is we can look at some of the descriptive statistics done with PROC means and you just put the variable names and you see the math and the reading score of about 52 points 54 percent are women and so on. Uh, the next thing that we can do is run simple or less regressions using PROC reg reading in the data and the two models are math on female program and science and reading on female and social sciences and it's typically a good thing to have different variables in the equations not to have identical equations because otherwise the results would be uh, pretty much the same as the OLS uh, regression. So these are the results that we have here for the OLS regressions and notice that even though I put them under the same proc reg procedure, that doesn't mean that these two equations are related. I could have done two proc regs and the results would be the same. These two equations are unrelated at the moment. Uh, so let's go ahead and say uh, this is the dependent variable for math and these are the regression coefficients and I'm going to interpret this coefficient on the science score. So it's a normal OLS regression, so if you have the science score being higher by one point, then the math score would be higher by 0.59 points. Okay, and same for the other equation, which comes from OLS. So now for the next one, we have the SUR model, and we will use PROC syslin data equals data and then SUR to indicate that we will be using the SUR model and again you put the two models here uh, that we had before. Now these two estimations would be correlated, there will be correlation from uh, between the error terms in the two equations. So when we estimate this um, actually first shows the OLS estimation as you can see OLS estimation and then shows the seemingly unrelated regression and it's seemingly unrelated because it looks just like the one above but what we're taking into consideration is the correlations uh, among the residuals. Um, one thing to note here is the cross-model uh, correlation that we have between the math and the reading scores and this is 0.18 so it's not particularly high but it is positive correlation. So now notice these are the results from the um, SUR model and you can see the dependent variable is math and we can see that this score that I interpreted before this coefficient was 0.59 and now it's slightly lower at 0.53 uh, 53, but very similar overall. So again you interpreted that for one unit increase in science you would have a 0.53 units increase in the math score. And these are the results for the other equation with the reading as the dependent variable and you have the coefficients so you can include these in the in the output. So this is all I had on SUR models. Thanks for watching and come back again.